Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. EA dropped a massive SPC yesterday in FIFA 23 that is crashing prices on the market because it's such good value, and it's a very meta player that so many people want to get into their ultimate teams. We've got to look at all of that in today's video, and of course, look ahead to today on Sunday because another Shapeshifter SBC leak has been put out there from a big club that could impact the market, and today, we might be seeing an icon pack that gives us the best chance of the year to pack an icon from one of those top three nations. We're going to look at all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Just again to communicate really quickly, this is going to be the last video in the next couple of days that you'll see from me. There might be one extra video kind of coming, um, but it will not be the live videos like every day. There's going to be a sort of a break here I'm going to be taking as mentioned in yesterday's video, just a couple of days off and we'll be right back into things. But without further do let's look back at yesterday's content at this SBC that is making prices move so much it's Zambrata 94 rated icon shapeshifter SBC they didn't actually upgrade his skill moves or his weak foot but it's the position and the rest of the stats besides pace on this card that got upgraded he's almost club 90 I mean I just kind of wish EA would have given him the 90 shooting but I think that would have made this SBC look even five times better than it already is and it's already insane. Four star, five star, high, high work rates. Absolute gem of a card. Dives into tackles trade. Flare passes. Flare and team player. The stats are all basically 80 plus. I think 88 might be his lowest stat on the card. Oh, sorry. Volleys and penalties. 82 and 83. Lowest stat on the in-game attributes. That is insane, right? And you can tell that people are liking it because it's got a 94% upvote on Footbin. It's 530,000 coins, which you might be like, Nate, that's not that cheap, right? Well, for a card of this value with these sort of stats, it's really, really good value. He's got the icon links, of course, and icons just kind of have that special sauce in game. And W dynamic image, you can play center mid, center defensive mid. It's just a card that really fits the role. Even as a right back, left back card, his prime icon was super duper good earlier on this year when it was released as an SBC. Very, very meta card. And that's why there's a lot of hype and a lot of excitement around this Zambrata. In my opinion, and some people, uh, we were talking about this on the stream yesterday, who's better? If you have not done Oop Makano, if you're trying to decide, should I do Oop Makano? Should I do Zambrata? I think Zambrata is technically a better midfielder. Oop Makano just kind of has more of that fun value, though, because he got the five-star skills, and you could also use him in a bit more of an attacking role. But I did Oop Makano. I'm a little bit kind of second-guessing Zambrata just because I have players similar to him in my team already. But this card is impacting the market like crazy because so many people are going out and doing his SBC. You got fodder prices going up a little bit, but you've got other prices on this market absolutely getting destroyed. And Barella and some of these other center mids specifically are taking the brunt of the market crash right in their prices, right? 410,000 coins for Borelli, who's actually just down below 400K. Guys, this card yesterday was 550K and he was under 400,000 coins with this market crash. People are selling center mids from across the game to go get this SBC. It actually reminds us a lot of what happened when the Jordi Alba SBC came out a couple of days ago and a lot of left backs crashed in price. Remember like Alfonso Davies, the um, left back from Bark Balde, he dropped off a bunch. Even some cards from different leagues that you're like, why was Teo Hernandez dropping a bunch because of the Alba SBC? Well, he did. It's almost like with this Socrates down as much as he is, Jude Bellingham. I'm pretty sure I saw a Jude Bellingham team of the season at like 2.5 2 million coins after yesterday. He was basically 3 mil. He's down 500k. His award winner's card is down a bunch as well. Center mids across the entire FIFA landscape right now are down bad in value because of the Zambrata SBC. And it's crazy that an SBC like that has that sort of impact, but when an SBC of that value and that kind of meta aspect drops in the game, especially because this looks like it's expensive with 500K, is actually not that bad. The 500K value comes from this 89 rated squad because high rated fodder just keeps going up in price. And also team of the week, tots, foot champs requirements. Those cards are going up a lot as well. We're going to talk about them in this video today. So that's kind of why this SBC is doing what it's doing to the market is because it actually is very craftable. There's really only three squads, 87, 88, and 89. Everybody can do an 81 rated squad. Everybody has bronzes and silvers they can turn in. It's easy to do, very easy to get done. And that's why 
again, another reason that it's impacting the market so much. For these center mids that are down in loads, like this Goretzka is one of the biggest cards that has dropped off from like, I think it was like 600 something thousand coins. He's now 420k. Are cards like these center mids going to rebound? The answer is they probably will over time, but it might not happen for a couple of weeks. And it just kind of depends on what other SBCs are dropped. And maybe like that Goretzka, you've got links right now with um, the, the Upamakano that is out, right? You know, people may want to run some Bayern links in their team. That sort of thing. You could see him bounce back a little bit faster because of that. But just be very careful with all center mids. Just like left backs were down because of Jordi Alba. A lot of them have not rebounded too much. I wouldn't expect a lot of center mids to rebound. Although they are a lot cheaper than what they used to be. So that's kind of what I'm thinking there with those cards. And if you think about it, did anything go up with the Zambrata SBC yesterday? Well, not really because Icons already go into a team on full chemistry. It's not like they need a ton of help to get chem. Uh, and really, they don't provide a lot of chemistry either. So not a, not a lot of cards went up because of that. Mostly, a lot of cards went now, that was all the content yesterday. Basically, we had a Shapeshifters Challenge SBC, and we did have some cards released as well as Man of the Matches. Um, there's a couple of them on the loading screen. You can see who's in there. We've got a Bowen card. We've got a Galino card with the dynamic image of him wearing the glasses again. So uh, another sunglasses dynamic image, which is pretty cool. But nothing super crazy from that release. Just uh, just some more fodder cards to pack in the store pack. Speaking of store packs, we also had the big 500,000 coin pack. I thought it might be more than 500k, but it in fact wasn't. But that 83 times 60 now is in the store. 500,000 coins, 3k FP. It seems like EA doesn't want to go higher than 500k. But 60 players, all 83 and above, and an... 62% chance of a shapeshifter card with a 41% chance of a shapeshifter icon. That's a pretty crazy pack. I'm not going to open it right now. I will maybe get this done towards the end of the week. We'll have to see. But that's kind of, in my opinion, maybe the craziest 500k pack we have seen yet because every single player in this is going to be 83 or above. That's a lot of fodder you're going to be getting from this. And I mean, really, really good percentage chance of getting an elite card from the Shapeshifters promo team. So kind of a crazy store pack drop there as well. And that probably also impacted the market a bit on those panic cells, draining some coins from the market as people are always opening those with coins. Now, with all of that happening yesterday and still going on, we have to look forward into today because we've got even bigger SBCs upcoming and to prepare for specifically with this leak right here. Sheriff baited us yesterday, kind of teased, right, with the potential of a Renato SBC or just playing with our hearts a little bit. He tweeted out like the Portuguese flag and then the Eiffel Tower emoji with um, the like Paris or something like that. I don't even know what it, what it was. But he then later tweeted that it was Vitinha he was hinting at, not at Renato Sanchez. We kind of guessed that it wasn't going to be Renato because he just got a team of the season card. But Vitinha is leaked to be getting a shapeshifter SBC. Now you think about this and you're like, wow, another midfielder, right? Well, that's the thing, right? With shapeshifters, we don't know where this car is going to be positioned. He might be an attacker. He might be a defender. A lot of people were saying if they had a choice to put this Vitinha at a certain position in the game, I think a lot of people would like him as a defender, as a right back, because yes, we have Akimi, but with the Portuguese links um, at a right back position, this Vitinha card shape shifted to the right back position might be pretty interesting. So I don't know much about this card, what it's going to look like. Nobody does. That's how these shape shifters work. But he's a very well rounded card from his future stars already. He's four star, three star, high, high work rates, a right back position change, boost up that defense and physical, keep the pace high with good dribbling and passing. That will be a pretty good right back. As long as it's decent value, there's going to be hype for this SBC because it is a PSG player right psg cards always bring the hype on this game because of the links and people have already started to go out and invest in some of those players nuno menge was like 150,000 coins yesterday i believe now he is upwards of 170k he was even 180 um until the uh, Zambrata dropped and made some of those prices drop a little bit on the market but watch out for your psg links guys because every time we get psg SBCs that are solid value, that are good and, and meta looking cards, you see the market move a lot. So invest at your own risk because for all we know, imagine Vitinha is dropped as a left back. That would make Nuno Mensch drop, right? I doubt that's the case. So I feel like this Nuno Mensch, if you're going to try to make a link investment, 
is one of the better plays because we just had Jordi Alba. We have this card. I doubt they do a left back Vitinha, but who knows? Uh, Vitinha could also be an attacker, right? You could look at some other PSG cards, maybe like a Marquinhos, um, you know, maybe like Golden Bappe even is somebody who you could keep in mind for a potential card that might go up a little bit in price. Again, it all depends on the value of the SBC, but PSG links are always hype. So a little bit risky to invest there if you want to, but I think that SBC might be dropping today. I will point this out as well. Sheriff also said could be an objective. Um, we may get a second objective player today. I'm not expecting that. It is Sunday. It's also the mini release day. We're supposed to see a mini release, even though we already think we have the cards in the game. Uh, but I really feel like this is going to be an SBC. That's just my take on that right there. Now, the bigger SBC today, guys, we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about this because this icon SBC that may be dropping today could be massive and could be even more hyped than the 90 plus icon player pick. Say goodbye to that SBC and say hello to the newest pack that has been added into the code pertaining to icons, the 90 plus Brazil, France, and Netherlands icon player pack containing a prime team of the year, foot birthday, trophy titans, icon player uh, from Brazil, France, or Netherlands rated 90 or higher. Well, I'll tell you first things first. If you go and take a look at all of the players that are in this pack, none of them are below 90. So the 90 plus threshold here literally does nothing. But it's the same thing as the player pick, right? Same kind of cards. Foot birthday, team of the year, trophy titans, and primes. This time, instead of it being a player pick, they're just constricting the search pool or pool of players available down to three different nationalities. And even if you take a look at the French prime icons, you've got some you got some low rated ones in here, right? Makelele, Pires, you've got Desai, you've got Blanc, Trezeguet. Um, you've got some cards in here that are not that great. If you look at Brazil, yeah, there's a couple of cards in there that you probably don't want to see. Socrates is base card. Roberto Carlos, usable, but it's nothing like his trophy titans. Kaká, yeah, you got Rivaldo, right? But you also have some really good ones. You got the R9, Carlos Alberto, Cafu, Jarzinho. You got really, really usable ones in there and if you go to Netherlands of course as well you've got some lower rated ones in there Frank Rijkaard, Robin Van Persie, Koeman, Kluivert, Van der Sar, Cedarf, Van Nistelrooy, Bergkamp it's it's one of the top two Croy for Hullet who's really what you want from this SBC Van der Sar is not bad uh, let me add him in there as well but it's all about the promo cards for, the, for these icons as well and since the player pool is so small um if you add in the foot birthdays, team of the years, and trophy titans, there's honestly not a lot of icons that you can pack from this, which means you're probably going to see a lot of the same cards like those French or those, you know, Dutch icons that we're not excited about seeing that we just talked over. But also, there's really good potential that you get somebody massive. I mean, you could be pulling a tr uh, team of the year Dino today out of one of this SB. You could, could be pulling a trophy titans uh, Zidane or Vieira because they are going to be in this SBC pack. Now, once again, it is a pack. It is not a player pick. And that, of course, also hurts the hype on the SBC a little bit. But the last time EA dropped an SBC like this, it was in the late game last year in FIBA 22. They dropped a 93 plus nation specific icon moments player pick. It was a one of four between France, Brazil, Netherlands, 93 or above. Um, and it did come in at a decent price of like 300K, but it had a ton of hype. I remember when this dropped, it was definitely towards the end game. It's not going to give me a date in here, but this was in the, the end game. And it was an SBC that so many people did because of the potential of those big nations dropping you a really big icon card. And that's where the hype is going to be today. How do we prepare for the SBC. First of all, how much would it even cost? I hope it's less than 300k, right? If we just the cards that we look through in here, there's a lot of 60, 70, 80k icons that are a part of this. I feel like the SBC is probably going to be priced somewhere between like 250 to 400k. EA might overprice it a little bit because they know they can kind of play on the hype of this SBC being what it is, promising a top three nation icon from the pack so beware of that and that's also another um kind of reason to look at the higher rated fodder because it's starting to go up and it's starting to go up even more and i think from an sbc like that today i would say yes we want to stock the low rated we want to look at the 84s the 83s the 85s the 86s to me for a value standpoint at 12k for 86s that looks really good. 87s, 88s, 89s, they're all starting to rise as the fodder prices start to creep up, right? We're outside of team of the season now. We've been talking about this. We knew that this sort of thing was going to happen. Your 91s are almost 40K. They keep rising. I think the 86s might be some of your best return on investments this week, but your 87s and 88s could do well too, depending on what rating requirements are inside 
of this icon pack today. I, I would guess 300K is probably going to be around the threshold. And if you're going to have a 300K icon SBC, you're probably going to have some 87s, 88s, and 80, maybe six rated squads inside of it. So that's kind of where I would focus if you're purely investing for this icon pack, because I do believe that it is going to uh, drop today on this game. Now let's talk about TOTS cards, because they've been still requiring Team of the Season cards, and TOTS prices are going up like crazy. All TOTS cards on this game right now are 47,000 coins. And if you look at my transfer list, I've started to liquidate some of these guys. I have. By the way, I tried Rudiger yesterday. Was not a big fan. I see he has some, like, a glimmer of, uh, you know, some overpowered aspects to his card. A glimmer of hope, if you will. But I just didn't really like him. Maybe that's an 11 win opinion. I don't know. But I started selling off a few of these TOTS cards. Now, most of the ones that I started selling have max prices uh, below what they're at right now. Like, all these Andre Blakes, I could only sell them at 45k, right? That's his max price. And if we get an Icon SBC today that requires Team of the Season cards, which it probably will, these cards are going to go higher. Now, the reason I'm selling is because, A, these cards are going extinct, like this Blake 45k extinct on the market right his price range is not there it's 45k and all tots cards are 48 so he's extinct and i just took the cash there because i don't want to wait on ea to update prices on these cards it might take a couple of days and then you get lucky it might take weeks and you're holding on these cards for a while and i do believe that there's going to be some sort of supply for team of the season cards it might not be for a week or two down the line but at this point i'm just going to take the coins especially because i'm not going to be pretty active on the game for the next like two three days as i mentioned at the beginning of the video being away so i sort started to sell and list up a few of these cards now it's completely up to you right i still have my 91s and 92s listed for a bit higher because these guys obviously aren't having max price ranges of like 50k like ricardo horta andre and these guys all have max prices of 50k i do believe tots card prices could keep going up but inside of this two-week window from where we invested we're literally doubling our money and then some like again i bought all these andre blakes at 16 to 17k and i'm selling them for 45 i will take that easy cash i have enough tots cards in my club and if you have make sure you have enough in the club to do the sbcs you want to do but if you want to start lazy listing some of these cards and starting to take the money i think it's a decent opportunity to do that even though they're going to continue to be um required for SBCs most likely and they still could go up I just don't like how the price ranges are not being updated and especially for me personally I'm not going to be watching prices on this game uh, for the next like two or three days guys again they could go higher honestly with these cards going extinct and some of them having price ranges that are like 45k that's even more of a reason for the other cards to go even higher up in price if EA keeps requiring them but also think about it this way there is compensation that is looming for those five tots packs that ea released last monday that we're still awaiting compensation for and when i when i think what they're going to do is when they drop that compensation that's going to mean less people have to go and buy tots cards from the market actually that might make the tots prices just kind of stay the same or maybe drop a little bit for a quick second and then whenever ea fixes the weekly rewards and gives out those tradable tots packs that might bring a little bit of supply to the market as well. But overall, in the long run, what's really going to hurt the TOTS cards is whenever EA put out a tradable TOTS pack. That's what it's going to have to take to drop those cards on the market. And that could come next week. It might not come for three or four weeks. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do in the TOTS cards. But now, being these cards at like 48,000 coins, being at these prices, I think it's the beginning of a safe sell window if you want to take the cash because again we're still specifically in that two-week window from where we invested and that's an crazy crazy profit on investment so kind of up to you but again just telling you why i've started to sell these just so that you guys are aware but if we get that icon pack today those prices ju could just keep going up further in value as well now like i mentioned also in the video the potential of a mini release ea said on their website that we were going to get a mini release today uh but again on their website also they don't show orsolini frankowski and uh eric bai i don't know if we're getting a, a mini release today guys or if it's already been dropped in game so we won't get anything that's what i'm leaning towards because we already have these guys in the game but i'm really not too sure so i'm just gonna keep a close eye on that today uh if we get extra shapeshifter cards in packs that would be great i doubt ea would add more of them into packs however we're looking at prices right now and as expected they are down a lot i'm sure that the zambrata sbc and the weekend league rewards that people were opening this weekend uh the combination of those two things are dropping these prices even more depai is 580 van percy 550 rudiger is 650 000 coins pele is that a real price 
Pele is getting listed a bunch. He's 14 mil now after being almost extinct the entire weekend. Uh, Socrates is, he was like 780. Now he's 840. He's actually gone back up a little bit. Um, Bruno Fernandez was 2.6. He's 2.8. All of these cards are dropping. And uh, again, like a normal kind of new card fluctuation, probably today we're going to see some pretty low prices for these guys. Um, even into tonight on Sunday night, maybe into tomorrow on Monday, there's a bit of a rise opportunity because there's still a lot of hype with these guys and a lot of people want to try them out. Just be very careful with the ones that you're wanting to buy to use like this right wing van percy was 1.6 yesterday and right now he shows for 1.27 which is really a crazy drop off uh but also i'm gonna be careful trading with these cards with the big content that's upcoming today again the way this market looks if we're getting sbcs of this good value every single day like we had zambrata yesterday upamakano on friday if we get a vitinha and an icon pack today, that's just going to start to chip away at these prices of TOTS cards and out-of-pack specials that is in turn going to start dropping these prices throughout the next week and drain coins off this game. You're seeing prices that are down mostly on the midfielders, right? You know, the Bellingham, the De Bruyne, uh, but some other prices have started to dip a little bit as well. Benzema's down just a little. Kavicha down just a little. Um, you know, so I think there are more price drops ahead, but you know, if the SBC content is continuing to be this good, that's going to be another catalyst for that. So just be careful again, still with the market, um, in this time, but the market's pretty stagnant apart from midfielders like dropping off a cliff yesterday on this game. So that's going to be the video for me today, guys. Enjoy today content on Sunday. Uh, I'll still be a little bit active on Twitter here and there if I can, and I got to go finish off my weekend league to hopefully get 11 wins. I'll tweet the rewards out or something like that. Um, as well. I'm almost to level 10. I'm close. I need 1000 XP and then I will be there. So that's the video for today, guys. Enjoy the Sunday content today. I will see you guys in a video as soon as Nathan would count. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. I'm scuffed ending, bro. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, uh, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan would count and catch you guys soon. Peace.